This VATAS training video is for payroll staff and is going to show how to set up an MSLE part-time adjustable physician account in VATAS. MSLE stands for Memos of Service Level Expectation. We're currently at the Station Payroll Admin main menu. And the MSLE paperwork is something that the payroll offices would most likely need to get from their HR offices. These would be an MSLE, again, Memo of Service Level Expectation, part-time adjustable physicians. These would be a contract with a definitive start and end date, all right? Our bottom left option under part-time physicians is Memos of Service Level Expectations. So we will click on that link. The blue at the top would be to search for a current MSLE in VATAS, but this video is going to be about how to set up an MSLE in VATAS. So we're going to add a memo. Here is where everything with an asterisk must be filled in, starting with the employee. And we're going to go to search for employee. The last name is going to be part-time and our first name, MSLE, and we will search. Obviously, we're using a training database, and you all would be searching for real names. Here we have our one option, MSLE.parttime, and we will select. We will click on the memo start date, and this is going to start on February 18th, which is the beginning of pay period four of 2018. This example is going to be how to set up an MSLE for stations that are going live on VATAS, which means we have to prorate the amount of hours as well as the start and end dates are not for a full year. If you're going to be setting up an MSLE and you are already live on VATAS, your start and end dates should be a full paid calendar year. It should be 26 pay periods. Again, this is going to be a partial contract because we're moving it from Vista into VATAS. Our memo end date therefore is May 26th which is the end of pay period 10 and that's seven pay periods. The agreed hours. We're looking at our contract and it shows that the employee is contracted for 40 hours per pay period. Okay so we have seven pay periods left from pay period 4 of 2018 until pay period 10 of 2018 to include both of those pay periods. So 40 hours per pay period times 7 pay periods is 280 hours. Again, if you were setting this up for a full year, a brand new MSLE contract, it would be the amount of hours per pay period times 26 because it would be for a full paid calendar year. 40 times 26 would be 1,040, again, if we were setting it up for a full year. In our remarks, we'll put Vista to VATAS deployment, because again, this would be for a station going live. And we then save. Successfully saved the memorandum. At the bottom, we now see our action saved. It shows the date with a timestamp and who took that action. After you've set it up, you will then want to save. And now you have the options to terminate, reconcile, delete, or view report. You'll want to terminate only if this has been set up in error. You will reconcile at the end of the memo, so it would be at the end of the memo date. And you can view the report throughout the memo's dates to see at what part the physician has or has not done on their agreed hours. It will show if they are off target by any hours. That again should be something the physician should really be more responsible for and aware of, but just to show payroll where that is at. Again, this video has been how to set up a memo of service level expectation in VATAS.